So as many of you know, and many of you love to make me plenty aware that I crutch stasis. And part of that is I absolutely love using the Mask of Bacchus. It's been my main exotic for quite some time now. But somewhat recently, I wanted to change up my build to try and get better stat splits to see if that was available. And I don't have a very well rolled Bacchus. So I started looking at other exotics. And this was mainly to kind of perfect my Mita multi-tool build and go all in on grenades. But I also wanted this build that I was aiming for to be able to be played with the light subclasses very well too. I thought to myself, if I'm not using Bacchus, what exotic am I going back to? Is it Stompies? Or maybe, again, an old friend, the Six Coyote. Six Coyote has been such a powerful exotic in my opinion and a top pick for me for quite some time. And I started looking at this as an option. What I didn't realize though is Six Coyote right now has more value than ever I think. Especially with the stasis nerfs announced yesterday. And of course I've talked about this in the past but the newest piece of value that this exotic is getting is the fact that it gives you the ability to keep surplus up for at least two stacks even though I usually have three stacks of it nearly the entire match and well why is this important well because the high impact shotguns or aggressive shotguns no longer have quick draw and that was changed to surplus so to have good handling on your shotgun and essentially quick draw you have to have multiple stacks of surplus ideally three up at all times and well, Six Coyote is the exotic that turns your shortest cooldown and gives it the absolute most uptime and Surplus acknowledges both your dodges as individual cooldowns, which is amazing because you're not only getting an ability with high uptime to begin with and a low cooldown so you'll have it more often, but you're getting a high impact ability. The Hunter Dodge is a very, very high impact ability for evasiveness. I've talked about this in the past, everything that does breaking aim assist, breaking bullet magnetism which is of course part of aim assist being able to stop tracking of course from supers and other abilities the utility it has with different interactions it is really really strong and incredible and to think that you're essentially getting max stability and all the benefits of surplus max handling and always turned on quick draw fell winters or even found verdict now i think that was just absurdly strong and i really underestimated truly how strong this is and how strong of a perk surplus is my fear with surplus in the past was the fact that i didn't want my weapon to feel different i wanted to feel the same consistent and I can develop a muscle memory with it and be accustomed to how it feels, not it changing on the fly based on how I choose to use my abilities. But now with 6 Coyote, it's essentially usually guaranteeing 2 stacks at the very least, although again I said I go entire games with 3 stacks up and that is just again, it brings the consistency that I wanted to surplus so I no longer have to fear any sort of inconsistency. So I got a survivor's epitaph with surplus on it and I started noticing how strong the perk was. Even the stability and the handling and reload speed on a 180 RPM hand cannon, which traditionally would see some of the lowest benefit from things like stability, was insanely noticeable. It was incredible to have three stacks up the majority of the time and it made my gun feel incredibly strong. Now when I take that and I pair it with Felwinters, that also has surplus, I essentially get max handling and quick draw on both weapons, increased reload and stability throughout the entire match. And that makes Six Coyote this kind of pseudo handling exotic now. The fact that it's keeping surplus up and you can now use surplus on multiple weapons makes this almost by proxy a handling exotic. Almost better, I'd say, than Dragon Shadow could be. I started experimenting as well with Hawkmoon with Surplus, and a essentially 100 stability Hawkmoon is insanely absurdly strong. It feels like a god tier hand cannon on controller with max stability. And it's one thing to be using a normal surplus roll and then you play the game, throw some abilities and it's like, oh well, you know, that brief moment of three stacks was cool, but then you don't really get that back through a match. But with Six Coyote keeping that two or three stacks up the entirety of the game, and again, if you're using another surplus weapon like Felwinters or even like a Snap Surplus Frozen Orbit, which essentially becomes Quick Draw as well, Quick Draw Snap, 
it's it's insane it's incredible it feels better than Ophidian's it feels better than Dragon Shadow because it's a more significant buff than Ophidian's and it has more uptime than Dragon Shadow you don't have to waste your dodge to activate it and you don't have to take advantage of it in that period of time that you have what's even more absurd is if you're using gamblers dodge when you dodge near someone you're not losing that ability cooldown that works towards surplus because if you dodge near them you're getting your melee ability back which is instantly neutralizing any loss you'd have from using your dodge. So you might not want to spam your dodge like you normally would with Six Coyote. You're really using this again as a handling exotic. You're using this to make your weapons feel like amazing top tier best they can possibly feel. So again, if you dodge near someone and you have another dodge charged, you're going to exchange that dodge, which you're actively using usefully for a melee ability and that's going to keep your guns feeling the same even though you just use an ability surplus is going to be the same after you dodge there and get your melee back but you used an ability and had nearly no cost and then it's back up in what 10 to 20 seconds anyways and like i said at the beginning of the video the hunter dodge is so powerful for breaking tracking and breaking aim assist or bullet magnetism but the certain utilities tied to hunter dodge is what really makes it amazing and how six coyote lets you double down on it a big part of the stasis nerfs is when you get slowed you're going to be able to still use your hunter dodge now now having two charges and having more uptime this will be more powerful than ever then you get light subclasses that might be re-entering the meta now, like Bottom Tree Arc Strider that gives you damage resistance when you dodge, and of course Six Coyote, well, it lets you double down on that and have that more frequently, combined with its already faster dodge cooldown from sprinting on that class. Dodge to slow on stasis might be getting nerfed, sure, but Six Coyote lets you do it twice, to apply that twice if you really wanted to, while still getting your melee charges back to keep surplus up, which could still be very obnoxious. On the quick thought of keeping surplus up with stasis, you have a combined 5 ability charges, and I think keeping 3 of those up through the match is not exactly difficult. So while Stompies and Dragon Shadow continue to be some of the best hunter exotics, and for good reason, there is now a choice for them to make. Stompy's hunters will get that increased sprint speed and that aerial movement buff that'll make them fly or zoom. But if they're using Felwinters, they're not always going to have surplus or their quick draw active, which is going to probably force them to be using a lightweight shotgun, which isn't bad, but it's still technically less significant or less potent and forgiving as an aggressive shotgun. And like I mentioned, for Dragon Shadow users, they have to use their dodge to activate their handling, and they only have that for a brief period of time, a specific window of time. This opens up Six Coyote. While it's not exactly buffing your movement per se in terms of movement speed or jump height, it's still giving you good lateral movement, of course, through the Hunter dodge, but it's giving you permanent quick draw or permanent weapon performance on both your weapons if you go all in like I have with this. I've said it so many times, but I really don't know how to explain how crazy it feels to have max surplus stacks through a match with Hawkmoon, with Survivor's Epitaph, with Felwinters, with Frozen Orbit essentially having quick draw snapshot. It, it's nuts. And if you're brave enough to try it next week with the stasis nerfs, Bottom Tree Arc Strider will make up for some of the shortcomings that Six Coyote has in comparison to Stompies and Dragon Shadow because it gets the inherent sprint speed buff. You'll be using that with Six Coyote, of course, to still have some decent sprint speed while doubling down on the best part of that class, the damage resistance dodge. So those are my thoughts on the Six Coyote and why I think it's better than ever. Get yourself some surplus weapons, go in with Six Coyote, and have fun. It's been truly incredible to use. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.